a massive, massive SteamOS update has just been released on the SteamOS preview channel, and that is SteamOS 3.4. And there's a lot to look forward to. Let's get into it. I'm Blaze2K. Okay. If you love Steam Deck content, please like, subscribe, click the bell icon for more Steam Deck content on your homepage every single day. Let's go. So guys, here we go. SteamOS 3.4 rolls out in preview for the Steam Deck, and it's a massive, massive upgrade. Um, so let me just resize the window here, make sure everything's tickety-boo. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, a little bit wider, a little bit wider. There we go. Sweet. All right, so SteamOS 3.4 rolls out in preview for the Steam Deck, and it's a massive upgrade. Valve has done another weekend drop here with a preview version of SteamOS 3.4 now available for the Steam Deck. It's easily one of the biggest updates they've done to the system since release, and there's so many changes that improve the experiences across the whole device. This includes massive upgrades to the desktop mode, an upgraded, up, upgraded Arch Linux package base, the performance overlay was changed for level 2 to show the details along the top of the screen instead of going down the left so for those of you who enjoyed seeing your performance stats aka the battery life your frame rate your um your cpu and gpu usage your ram usage um instead of it taking up a chunky portion of the top left of your screen now you can have it very nice and streamlined over the top of the screen that is pretty damn nifty um so that's level two of the performance overlay that is really cool um currently steam os 3.4 is using kernel 5.13 with various valve patches and mesa 22.2.0 words and pictures are great but here's a video showcasing some of the changes we'll take a look this is gaming on linux um so let's read through the the list first so we've got rebased steam os on the latest version of Arch Linux. This update pulls the latest pulls in the latest performance, the latest security, and the latest stability fixes and for the underlying packages that are the foundation for SteamOS. Most notably, this includes the recent changes for KDE Plasma, Steam Deck's desktop mode. Full notes on these updates can be found on the KDE's website. New overview mode that lets you see all the windows and virtual desktops. So for those of you that are maybe used to Mac OS and you're used to pressing your button on your keyboard that allows you to see all the open windows on your page, on your desktop, sorry, at once um, and pick and choose which one you want to open. This is really handy for you and you'll be used to this. Um, we've also got updates to Keyrunner, the built-in assistant for searching and running tasks. So if you want to find a, a file in a jiffy, then you know it should be easier than ever before. We've got new touchscreen gestures for those of you that like to navigate via the desktop mode on, you know, with your fingers on the touchscreen. And we've got new themes and wallpapers greatly appreciate i love new themes and wallpapers new custom customization um updates to widgets very cool i wasn't a big fan or i haven't really used widgets on steam OS. uh performance profiles new option to allow screen tearing um cool um we talked about that in a beta update i believe a couple of weeks ago um so they finally rolled that out to the preview and hopefully to the stable version of steam OS soon change the performance hud level 2 to use a horizontal layout if it's in the letterbox space for games running a 16 by 9 aspect ratio so we can see that up there it's basically just going to run or just basically going to show you all the performance stats along the top of the screen which is very nice safe space doesn't get in the way of anything um they've re-enabled trim for internal for the internal drive as well as support external storage devices and improving write performance very good this includes a workaround so you trim operators are safe for sd cards that advertise discard support but do not support it um steam will periodically trim storage devices as needed a new button in settings system advanced to run trim immediately um added an eject button for removable drives and settings and storage so this allows you to unmount the removable drive and it does not physically eject it of course I mean, there isn't the hardware inside the Steam Deck to allow you to allow it to pop out the SD card on demand. Um, but this, I don't know whether ejecting dry external drives like micro SDs helps protect the micro SD. Um, I know it's it's habit to eject, and it's like good, you know, it's it's good to eject your your external drives um, to save them from corruption, but. Let me know in the comments, is it worth it? Um, external drives formatted as EXT4 are now automatically mounted and available for use in Steam. Very cool. Now, for input, they've disabled the disabled built-in DualShock 4 and DualSense trackpad um, mouse simulation when Steam is running. What? They've disabled built-in DualShock 4 and DualSense trackpad mouse simulation when Steam is running. Why would they do that? 
I can imagine that would be kind of handy using the, the dual sensor dual shock strap pad when you're not navigating the desktop mode. Hmm. Um, they've changed the timing of virtual key presses to improve game compatibility with on screen keyboard. Um, so hopefully the keyboard will be more responsive than ever before. That's really good. Um, fixed steam input action set switching based on cursor visibility in game mode. Okay. Re enabled the built in gamepad driver when steam is not running in the desktop mode. Nice. That is good. So it's, they're going to re enable a built in gamepad driver even when steam is not running in the, in the desktop mode so if you don't have steam running in the background it should still detect your gamepad on the steam deck um audio key fixed in so for audio issues they fixed the case where the default audio device would display echo cancel sync and audio controls would cease to work correctly fixed the case for some applications would output audio to the wrong device and they fixed an issue with hdmi slash display port audio going to sleep after being idle and external displays i know this is played a bunch of different operating systems windows and mac os included um so good to see they've they fixed it on the steam deck um now general fixes they've fixed the performance issue that could cause 100 millisecond hitches during gameplay if adaptive backlight was enabled I haven't noticed that although i might have noticed it it might have happened i've just never pegged it down to the fact that the adaptive backlight was turned on interesting they fixed an opening um fixed an issue with opening file managers if the game scope set game scope session has been restarted okay fixed issues with sleep and wake for a number of titles this has been an issue for me fixed gpu clock settings sometimes not sticking if manually if set manually thanks to user xperia for the amd gpu kernel patch backport fixed an issue with fan control or excessive uh, sensor pulling causing sporadic fan behavior higher ssd temps than some nv NVMe drives. So for those of you with custom NVMe drives and you were getting some higher than normal temperatures, um, hopefully that should have fixed it. Um, new firmware for docking stations. So if you have a, the the dock or you use a dock in general, they fixed an issue where HDMI 2.0 displays are not detected during wake or boot up. Um, so that's a lot of different changes. Now we've not yet we've not seen the official official dual booter, the dual boot software just yet, which. I'm kind of hoping they do bring, um, because I really hope people dual boot their, their Steam Deck with Windows and Steam OS. I've got the 512. I wouldn't recommend dual booting if you're on like the 64 gig Steam Deck or even the 256. That's a little bit tight in space. Um, but if you have 512 or you've maybe upgraded to like a terabyte or two terabyte, then dual booting is definitely an option for you. And I have dual booted my Steam Deck and I'm waiting, waiting to get a two terabyte drive or two terabyte SSD at some point soon. It's like 300 and something bucks. So if you want to help me get it please consider clicking the join button down below because all that money goes back into the channel in terms of investing and stuff um so yeah thank you guys for watching that's a lot of cool changes huh let me know in the comments what you think down below and i'll see you in the next steam deck video which should be today or tomorrow see you there bye guys i'm blaze 2k like subscribe click the bell icon you know what to do bye